Greetings all, I'm Sega Zombie and welcome to another episode of the Sega Wall. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Sega Saturn games. Right guys, let's take a look at the first shelf. Starfighter 3000, Area 51. Moving along to the next bit here, what should we take a look at first? I know, Die Hard Arcade. Known in Japan as Dynamite Decker, over here and in the US, Die Hard Arcade. A sort of cash in really, but a great game. A really, really good 3D beat em up. Highly recommended. Next along here, we've got Story of 4 2. Awesome on the Mega Drive. And the sequel was really good too. Improved everything on the, on the first one. Great RPG. Moving along. <laughs> we've got to look at this Shinobi X. Love the digitized graphics, the environments. The, the western soundtrack and the really cheesy FMV, it's, it's awesome, such a cheesy game, it's great. Going back here, if I can get this out here, but here. Galactic Attack, a great, great shooter this, so detailed, the graphics are amazing, it plays so, so solid, great music as well. First couple of levels, not too bad, but it gets really, really tough. A tough, tough game. What else have we got? Oh, I've got to show this. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Probably my all-time favourite Street Fighter game. Played this no end. Tapping in the button combo to get Evil Ryu and pulling off that firecracker for the first time. Amazing. Love that game. Right, moving on to the second shelf. Oh, I've got to show you this. Radiant Silver Gun in a PAL case. How is this possible? A great Galaxian, Guardian on the Galaxy, Ben Boyd, that's how it's possible. What an awesome box art this is on here. Made from scratch by his artistic hands. Awesome. Right, let's have a little look moving along. I'll show you some more of his work actually. Panzer Dragoon, Panzer Dragoon 2. He's done me a lovely little slip case to put them both in. As you can see, the detail to the box art, awesome. The quality is, is amazing. Very talented guy, love it. Awesome, Ben. Let's see if we can put that back in there safely. There we go, right, moving along. Manx TT, great game. Shall we take a look at next? Oh, I know. Let's have a little look at Dark Savior. Ooh, tricky to get out of here. I really like this game. Um, it's It reminds me of the original 8-bit isometric sort of Saber Wolf, that sort of thing, but obviously with the 32-bit graphics. Another great RPG, really, really love the style of this game. Right, moving on to the next shelf, guys. Some great titles here. Let's take a look at Exhumed first. If I can get that out of here. Yeah, Exhumed, developed by Lobotomy. They really did push the Sega Saturn to its limits. A great first-person RPG sort of adventure-style shooter. And then moving on to Parodius. My first ever cootsie shooter. Not a huge fan of that genre, but I do love that game. It is a great game, Parodius. Moving along, what we got? Virtualon, Guardian Heroes by Treasure, Daytona, X Men, Hexen, Bubble Bobble, great game, and Rainbow Islands. Oh, but let's have a little look at this, because this game is a bane to me. Alien Trilogy. Those that follow me on the Galaxy will know that the amount of times I've had to purchase this game to get a working copy of it, unbelievable. Right guys, let's move on to the next shelf. These are all the second gen cases, the sort of plastic ones. Here we go, let's have a little look at Winter Heat. Great sequel to Athlete Kings. I do love these athletics games. High resolution graphics on that. Moving along, I'll just show you this one if I can get this out. Maximum Force, a gun game, light gun game. Uh, again, 
the digitised style graphics. Not a great gun game on the Saturn, um, but it's hard to get. Let's see if I can get this one next to it. Another one that's quite tough to get hold of. Dodgy game, one of these FMV adventure games. I actually quite like these FMV games. I'm going to do a future Sega wall on the Mega CD and I'll be focusing on some of these FMV games. Cheesy, great, I love them. I absolutely love them. Right, let's put this back in here. Moving along. Sonic Jam, Sonic R. Let's have a little look. House of the Dead. One of my favorite Sega series, the House of the Dead games. The original, the Saturn did struggle to do a conversion of this, but you know, it's, it's not a bad, bad conversion. Great, good light gun game. Moving along. Let's have a look at a Sonic Team game here. There's not much Sonic. Burn and Rangers. A little bit messy looking nowadays, but a great game. I love the concept behind it. Um, yeah, a great little fire fighting game. But this, this is the pinnacle. This is the racing game I absolutely adore. And one of my favorite games on the Sega Saturn, Sega Rally. Moving on, I thought I'd show you a pile of recent purchases. Hang on, GP96. Be interesting to see what that plays like. Oh, here we go, another Alien Trilogy. Picked this one up because the disc is actually in good nick. Unfortunately, the box isn't. Yeah, it's pretty ropey. Wiz, now this is a game I'd never heard of. Released by Konami, so I had to pick it up. Looks like a 2D, 3D isometric platformer. Clockwork Knight, we all know this game, a 2D, sort of like 3D platformer. Robo Pit, again another game never heard of. Picked it up, I think it is a, two, a 3D style fighter. This one needs no mention really. Marvel Superheroes, great 2D animations, awesome fight art, love this series, great on the Saturn. Gex, uh, originally a 3DO game I believe, by Crystal Dynamics, looks interesting. Theme Park, way slippery, Theme Park, yeah we all know this one. Alone in the Dark, Jack is back. This is a series I've never really played. I tell a lie, I have played the Dreamcast release. Casper, I'd imagine a 3D platformer style game. Yeah, nice one to add to the collection. And Battle Monsters. This is like a dodgy Mortal Kombat style ripoff. Interesting with the mythological monsters though. It's not Medusa. Let's take a look at my Japanese Sega Saturn games. Looking to invest into these in the new year. Get a few more. But looking at the first one, we've got Power Drift. Great conversion on the Sega Saturn, this. Uh, only available in Japan. Great, great, great racer. I do like I do like a bit of Power Drift. Bomberman. We all know all about Bomberman on the Saturn. What's next? Race Driving. I've yet to actually play this on the Saturn. Might give that a blast later. Outrun. We all know Outrun after my Sega Wall Outrun special. What's this one? Chase HQ and SCI Special Criminal Investigation. Two great conversions. Again, only released in Japan. What's this up here? Oh, a Sega Flash demo disc. And then we've got Gale Racer with the swinging Sonic on the mirror. This one's an interesting one, Astel, looks really good. Really great visuals on it, yet to play it as it's still sealed. I'm tempted to open it. Moving on to the box games. We've got Marvel Super Heroes vs Street Fighter. An RPG one which I picked up cheap in a bundle. And then we've got X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Great 2D fighters on the Saturn. Awesome. And then Vampire Savior, another great game. All with the RAM carts. 
And then an SNK game, Real Belt, Fatal Fury. Again, lovely 2D fighting game. And there we go. There is my Sega Saturn collection. I'm looking out for Three Dirty Dwarfs from PAL and Dungeons and Dragons on the Japanese Saturn. I'm Sega Zombie. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next Sega Wall, goodbye.